Yet another Adobe Photoshop tutorial presented by SystemControl.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to precisely uh, cut out objects from a background. In this instance, we're going to be using a person which does have a background, it looks like a wallpaper of some sort. And then we're going to go ahead and cut her out and place her onto a background of, of our choosing. So, first thing we need to do is zoom in to the section in which we're going to start working on. Um, just like big tasks, you have to focus on the little task to result in the big task being done. So let's break down the big task into individual sections and let's just work on her shoulder first. So we're gonna, we could use the pen tool, we could uh, realistically use the magic wand and, and do all that. Um, we can do different ways, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. So to do that, you start out the edge after you select it. So we have the pen tool selected and we just click and you'll see a dot here and then we'll make another dot about there. Now you'll get it down basically it's just you want to round it effectively. Now this isn't going to be a hundred percent perfect. There are going to be little parts in which aren't cut out correctly. Um, it depends on exactly how precise you want to get. If you see here there is some hair strands on the side but we're going to go ahead and just cut those out. Uh, because they're very uh, not noticeable when you're zoomed out at 100%. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue on up the hair. And we'll go ahead and zoom out. And we'll bring our pen tool out. And just go ahead and delete the background. What I'm going to do as well is uh, click on my background. And press OK because we want it as a non lock layer. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to turn uh, the color overlay on and we're going to put it on lime green. Now, you put on any color that's going to be effective for you. Uh, this is just so I can see the difference between the white background and the actual image itself. So, what we'll do is continue on cutting. And what I'll do is go ahead and speed up this part so you can catch me at the end of this. Uh, there's no need for you to watch me do this whole thing. Okay. So what we're going to do is take her. Let's go ahead and merge the eyes. Okay, so the eyes are merged and go ahead and cut her out. Control X or go up here to edit and then cut. Then we'll go over to our canvas in which we had the background already. Control V, which paste. And bring her down a little bit. We got our selector tool so we can move this around. Let's go ahead and flip her. Control T and do a negative width, 100% negative. And that will flip her. And let's make her just a little, little smaller. And that looks fine. So then, uh, now we have her cut out, we can do little changes as far as, you know, um, the shadowing and stuff like that. But we can do that in another tutorial. This one, I just wanted to show you how to cut it out and put it onto another, another background. Um, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to clean it up and maybe do uh, some shading. Um, and lighting effects to make it look like they're actually on the same image um, or they're actually the same image rather than two separate images combined so don't forget to subscribe to system control we have a lot of uh, tutorials coming out shortly and I hope you guys enjoy this